Kiara's new groove is running again. That's our party name, right? I have it listed I'm there. Pretty yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. Britain's guy. Kiara's new groove. We have one achievement first steps. Today we're going to the Runus Crypt, which is a crypt outside of Gloomhaven. And we have to do a road event on the way. So Travis, why don't you read this for us? Sure. Walking through a stretch of lowlands, you see a man in armor sitting against a large boulder. As you get closer, you see that he is bleeding from his side. Mm. Ah, what luck, he says. I got separated from my detail and had an unfortunate run-in with a bear. <laughs> I'm oh, afraid no. I no longer have the strength to stand. He looks at you imploringly. You wouldn't happen to have a potion or something you would be willing to give me. I just need a little extra energy to make it back to Gloomhaven. Uh, we can help out the guard, or we can not. Um, so, what I've it. noticed with these day events is mm -hmm. that usually to get a benefit, there is a negative that goes with it. So if we help out the guards, it'll probably make us a bit more exhausted, or he's going to stab us in the back. So I don't really know. I, I, Craig is kind-hearted because he has no heart, so mm -hmm. he votes to help. That's what Craig says. He's like the Tin Man. Yeah, he's the Tin Man, but made of stone. But made of stone. Yeah. The Stone Man, if the you stone will. The Stone Man, yeah. I forget if I had a character or a personal life for my character. So yeah, we can help. Sure. I got this right. like power potion where it's case or whatever. You happily oblige the request, letting the man partake of some of your supplies. He slowly stands up, thanks you, and then heads towards Gloomhaven as you head in the opposite direction. Consume one collective bag item. Cool. Yeah, do you want to, I, yours see. is probably better. I can for, get mine back though. Um, for that, yeah. Okay, sure. Then yeah, go for it. Yeah. All right. Shit. So then this goes on the bottom of the deck. You're not wrong. I'll sit here and like die, <laughs> but also tell everyone I see that you're awful. Yeah, just <laughs> everyone who walks by, there's a group of fucking assholes <laughs> that just left me for dead. Yeah. Alright, so we're doing scenario number five, the Runus Crypt. Requirements none, but the goal is kill all enemies. And, and to, to entice you guys further, there are two treasure chests in this map. Wow. Um, your mission is clear. These elemental cultists are distorting the fabric of the world and must be stopped. With that goal in mind, you follow their writings to an ancient crypt you believe to be the cult's base of operations. Stealing yourself for combat, you batter through the rotted door and charge into the hall of the crypt. The sight before you is both wondrous and horrifying. A group of cultists is performing um, rituals in front of a black gaping hole in it's reality. a Morris dance. <laughs> They turn you Game and over. snarl. They turn toward you and snarl, and sheathing their sacrificial daggers. Behind them, an inky darkness spills forth from the hole and coalesces into nightmarish forms full of teeth and claws. You know you must send these terrors of the elemental plane back into the void, but you are paralyzed with fear. Special rules: All characters start with a disarm at the start of this scenario. No hands. So I don't get one because my one of my perks is I ignore negative scenario effects. But you guys can't attack for your first turn. Oh, that's oh, yeah, fine. No problem. Yeah. Uh, like, I can still play other cards as long as they don't stay top of them. Right? Basically, you can do everything on that card except the attack part. Okay, so if my card says attack and do other things, I can... Yeah. I believe so, anyway. Where's my rule book? Right over here. That's how I've always seen it. We also start in one of these one, two, three, four, five spaces. So if I played this, I get the, the ice and the experience, but I wouldn't get to do the attack or the model. I think so, yeah. Okay. I, mean, I can just not do that, so that way it's not a problem, but... I'm gonna look it up because this is a good question. Every time there's a chance to learn. Yeah, if it figures this arm, it cannot perform any attack abilities on its turn. Wait, that's in the round. Let's do that one. It's kind of coming back to me. Where do we start? Uh, in any of these one, two, three, four Brin spaces. Oh, that's Not in close. the Brin space. She's in here, Justin. I can't. I'll, I'll go here. Um, I'm just looking at this. Because... Yeah, because so how I look at it is that because it's underneath it, it's a separate part of the cart. So I would think. Well, yeah, that, the things yes. that affect the attack are like, in like they have like subheadings, right? Yeah. So yeah. Like, yeah that's a bad example. But on this one, like the model is part, part of, of the. That. Yeah. But like the other two aren't. That is correct. All right, so let's give this a uh, dungeon on the roll. Like, let's just turn won't everyone do that to... for the first time. But... Okay, so we have two cultists, um, or three cultists. They have five health, two movement, and one attack. There's four cultists. There's four. Well, there's like four guys, right? Oh no, that this one's this one's like the shitty one. Yeah, there's two. Yeah, there's two, yeah, okay, there's no, two night bad. demons. 
So these night demons, there is, they have five health, three movement, three attack. This one has eight health, four movement, four attack, and they both have a All trait right. where attacker gains disadvantage against them. Sweet. So do we want to try and kill the big one first? Um, or just like melt all the shitty guys? That's the question. I mean, like we could also do one of those things. I mean, like we're not doing much in this first turn because we can't attack. I can right. run in. I can attack. I can run in and yeah. just neutralize one of the cultists this turn, most likely. Um, and then maybe we just kind of like focus fire on one of the big guys. Like maybe two of us focus on the big guys, and then the other ones gets last one keeps the other guys busy, which is something that I can do quite well as Craig. Can now you get like a fast leaf. You want uh, leaf? I don't think I can yeah. actually make elements. Yeah, okay. You're, you're uh, the only you one I'm allowed stuff. to make with my level one cards anyway is like dark. And that's the only one I can consume. Um, I can't make a leaf fast enough to also okay. do what I want to do, which is hopefully kill one of these idiots. Fine, like, I can give us some hardened spikes if you want to run in there and just tank a bunch of shots. Yeah, that sounds cool to me. Like retaliate too. Yeah, that sounds great. I'm gonna, be going, I'm gonna be going quite quickly though. Oh, fuck, I always forget one part of this goddamn game. I always forget it. We need battle objectives. Oh, yeah. They're in the box. They should be, they're, uh, um, yeah, that column, but up at the top. These ones? Yes, those ones. And then shovel those up and give two to everybody. Except Travis, he gets only one. Why? That's what your it's character says. Oh, no. Yeah. Just flip it over, I wrote in Sharpie. Think yeah, for all just... the other cards I draw? Yep. Yeah, you're not allowed to draw extra cards here. Alright, let's set those over there. Is exhausted me? Uh, uh, low zero hit points, there's uh, not enough cards to play. Okay. Yeah. Are you gonna kill someone? I'm hoping to kill some people. Okay, I guess we'll take this one. Supposed to do I guess. I know what cards I'm playing. I'm playing so how fast do you think you're going, Jess? I'm going like quarter speed here. I I have a card that makes me go really fast, and that's the one I'm gonna do. And by really fast, I mean like not rogue fast. You know. That's all right. I'm not going rogue fast this turn anyway. I don't get to attack. I can go rogue fast. <laughs> yeah, we'll go like. I'm going incredibly. Fast. I'm like Sonic this turn. Sonic. This will be the fastest you've ever seen Boulder Boy move. Okay, I'm gonna do a different one for that one then. We don't want to be using that turn one anyway, so we'll just use it. Everyone good? It's a real initiative. I have 13. Uh, I got 26. That is so fast. I got 23. All right, we got ourselves uh, a night demon has 41. This cultist has 27. Perfect. Okay. So I go first. Sorry if that messes things up. No, nope, but... I plan for you going before. Cool. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to use this as a move too, but I'm going to move here. And then I'm going to do an attack three and push on that guy. So that'll be an attack three. He'll take three damage. I'll push him into this. He'll take two more damage and kill him, and I'll gain one experience. And this, this I destroyed their altar. All right, so I've got move three. I'm just going to move. You know, I guess, like, what we could go, like, to make a slightly more use of our move three. <laughs> okay, okay. And then we'll poison this demon next to us. Sick. Because that's what this, spec this one does. And then I'll disarm an adjacent trap. Sure. Like this? Yep. Can I get to him at 6 P? Two. Okay. I'm just going to move forward one using this reviving ether as generic move. Sure. And then I'll cast the hardened spikes. All adjacent enemy allies? Myself self and all adjacent allies get retaliated too. That's get two sick. That is sick. Alright, we made good use of this no attack. Alright, so this cultist is going to go one, two. Did I keep tracking experience again? Oh, I, I have it. I know he's got it on oh, the okay. computer. Yeah. So you, you get it. You like you get it. A little at wheel, the end, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. I remember yeah. now. Um, so this call, this is going to attack me because I have the lowest initiative. So that's going to be an attack of one. He's going to deal one damage to me, uh, and then I will deal two damage back to him because he's a little idiot. And Travis gave me six spike yeah, shields. Spiky boy. Uh, this guy's going to go one, 
two, because he probably doesn't want to block off that other one. Mm -hmm. He'll attack me again for one. Because that's worse for us. That'll deal two damage to me, so I'm okay with that because I have a lot of health. And he'll take two back. And he'll take two back. Man, it's the first one. He uses hardened spikes for anything other than experience. Um, <laughs> this guy, he's going to move two, one, and then he's going to attack me for five. Five attack. That'll put me to six. But, you know, that's just... That's just the price to pay to be Craig. Uh, he'll make the void to full. He takes two. And he takes two. Man, this thing's sick. Sometimes. Uh, Bryn, this guy's going to attack you. Oh, yeah. So he'll attack you for four. He'll take three damage. And he'll take two. And he'll take two. I did that. Uh, he's also poisoned, so does he take an extra one from uh, this? Poison basically just only... gives you a plus one attack whenever it's you only, attack. It's him. only when you attack. Yes. Uh, top of the round, this f slides down. Hard and spikes. Goes away. And all these go into discard. Not disarmed anymore. Oh, yeah. Two arms. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, let's push these idiots on some spikes. That'd be cool. How does range work in this game again? Uh, it's number of hexes. If you're adjacent to someone doing a range attack, you're attacking oh, yeah, yeah, disadvantage. Okay. Yeah. And it's it's corner to corner, so basically it kind of looks weird. So if it's just any co uh, hex, co corner of your hex can see a corner of the hex you're trying to aim for, that's line of sight. So like even like you could probably like shoot Okay, so my hex got range of three, and I want to do it like here. Is it like an area attack? Yeah. Oh yeah, so how area attacks work is as long as any of these hexes are within range, okay. you can do it in that thing. So you could choose like this hex mm -hmm. to be here, and it would hit all of those guys. Okay. Yeah. I guess that's better than hitting a weak guy and you. <laughs> uh, those, unless it says it targets allies, it will not hit me. Oh, okay. It has to specify. We're going to roast the elite boy then. All right, I can make sure this guy doesn't do anything this turn. Oh, that would be great. Probably, unless, like, Travis has done something weird, in which case I cannot. I know, like, the other three guys are going to be disadvantaged. That is helpful. I'm probably going to spend some time... Also, I'm going super fast. Sonic fast? Sonic fast. That's fast. Fast. Like, the fastest I can. All right, I'll give you a little bit of uh, love and justice. Ooh, I like that. But not the creepy kind. Not like the creepy kind, no. Yeah. yeah. Uh, ever, strictly ever good to reveal your initiative? I got 29. Seven. I've got nine. Try that is Sonic fast. All right, this night demon has an initiative of 41, and these guys have 10. Ooh. Okay, uh, well, Justin will heal you for three with this metal. Thank you. And then our other one is this Icy Blast. So we're going to put it, like, here, I guess? So hit all of these guys? Yeah. Cool. Uh, so attack two, range three, muddles them. And you get ice. Ice and two experience. So um, we'll do them one by one. So That guy first. So you're doing this, this one or here? So uh, I'm doing this. Case. So then so all I, of these guys. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Let's do this guy first. Minus one. So he'll take one damage, but yeah. he will be muddled, which I'm just going to grab. Uh, that other not elite enemy there. Yes. It's plus zero. He'll take two and He'll get muddled. Two damage and, and then the elite is also a plus. He's at disadvantage, so you have to draw two cards for him. So mm -hmm. he won't take any damage, but he is still muddled. Okay. All right, these stay down here. Yeah. You do that. shuffle. Uh, they don't. At the end of your turn, you shuffle. Yeah. So at the end, yeah, like at the end of your go. Yeah. Uh, and then it goes to Brim. This game. All playing. right, so I've got single out and trickster's reversal. So we're gonna use. The move half of Trickster's Reversal, the next time I would suffer damage this round, I suffer none instead. Cool. And um, I guess we're going to try and kill this cultist then, so he can't attack me and pop this. Uh, he will attack Travis anyway. Yeah, he will attack <laughs> Travis. Three will attack uh, Travis. They're, they're like muddled as well. Yeah. If that, for what that's worth. That is nice. Um, it is like It is a five damage attack to him, but only a two damage, or three damage to him. So I think we will just try and blow this cultist up, I guess. This Is it three against him? It would be three against him, because he's not adjacent to any of my allies. Yeah, it would... Oh, okay, yeah, but you, yeah, getting the experience is probably good. Yeah. 
Because that guy's going to attack you and just deal no damage. Yeah, to you. like he's just going to blank off me and then we'll figure something out later. Yeah, I agree. I yeah. got two experience, experience for my cool. thing. Thank you. That's very important yeah. to me. So we'll attack this idiot. Plus one. So, so we'll deal six damage to him and gain an XP. Cool. He will die. And he'll gain an XP. Let's do that. Um, and then he drops a coin where his corpse was. I need that. Yeah, I'm very... I have fucking, like, 88 gold, so... Okay. Picking up gold is not a priority for me, so it's all for you guys. Money doesn't seem to be too much of a priority in general. Right now. I mean, like once, we can, <laughs> once we can start enhancing, then, yeah. you know. And then, buddy. All right, the cultist goes, number one's going to attack me for zero. And I'll deal one damage to me. And once again, that's just the Craig life. Craig takes damage. I got to heal for three. I'm unstoppable. Okay, for this attack, and like two more, maybe. Okay, my turn. Which guy hit you? This guy. He oh, he was muddled. I'll take zero damage. Uh -huh. Thank you, Travis. For both healing me I mean, and... That's kind of what I did on my turn, so... <laughs> <laughs> and remembering to use your cards. Yeah. Okay, so... I'm going... This guy's attacking me for five again, huh? I'll heal four and make a bunch of green. And then he can attack me for five, and I don't care. But I will put this shield on myself. So on my next six melee attacks against me, I gain retaliate, too. Because Travis taught me the way. Uh, these guys. This guy's going to attack me for an attack of five. Spikes to myself. That'll be four damage. So I'll just take that four damage that I just healed. And he'll take two damage for attacking me, that idiot. Oh, he's, uh, yes, that he's guy was muddled. muddled. So he'll still be the minus one. Yeah, but the two times is gone for this round. I agree. Oh. Uh, Britain, this guy's gonna attack you. Cool. Uh, so it's gonna be for four, but it'll be I'll ignored. I'll blank it with my tricks just for reversal. <laughs> yes, I agree with that factual statement. <laughs> yeah. Good. Um, one down. All right, these all go. This is full. These all go down one. I'm still checking my cards over here. Mm. This guy also. Yes, if you drew the. Did you draw uh, the the negate? Yeah. Then yeah. Like this spinny guy. Yeah, if you ever draw the negate or one of the... Just this yeah, symbol. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, also, this guy attacked me, so he's immobilized because I have the power of the mountain. Here's something. This guy's actually also immobilized. So we can just walk away from them and they'll just sit there like idiots. Like for this turn? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then they'll come get us later. But I mean, like, if I could step away and focus on another guy, and mm. you can just p pelt them with spells and not feel scared. Okay, okay. <sighs> uh, if I move next to an enemy, do they get to attack me or something? No. No, okay, okay that's not this game. game. No attacks of opportunity. These are just generic pit traps, right? Three damage. Okay. I mean, that's not my problem. No. I'll wait till like either you tank or Brenda disarms it. Yeah, I'm content to just sit there. Or pushing dudes on it is also always good. I'm not gonna do that. I can do that. Hmm, I don't want to do. The problem is now I'm very this. slow. I just get to paint with a bunch of different colors. What am I doing this turn? get to ping him with all the colors is a win. Mm -hmm. Well, I was going to say, but like only one of them is a win, right? <laughs> so, like, yeah, I guess ping with one color, great. It's gray. <laughs> sure. It's pretty boring. <laughs> Let's go for that. All right, initiative. I got 35. I got 6. 20. These guys are seven and ten. Man, those night demons got together. <laughs> they did. They were like, we're, we're spending too much time. All right, so, Bryn, you're first. All right. So I got throwing knives from my other card. You should try to pop a night demon so they can't be invisible this turn. I don't think I can kill one. 
Because this guy's not adjacent to either of you. He's poisoned, though. Yeah, but it still doesn't... I don't think it kills, though. I was just going to move back here and, like, throw knives at people. You can do that, I guess. So... Yeah, like that's what we're gonna do. Cool. Because I don't want to discard this. Range of three? Range of three, so we'll hit like the cultist, I guess. Sure. Because he probably won't die, but. And this guy. Cool. Let's do cultist. Choose whichever one you want to attack. Sure, we'll, first. Do, we'll do the cultist first. Sure. Plus take two. Five damage, he's dead. Uh, he'll take four damage. Oh, he's still dead. Okay, cool. Yeah. I thought, it was, oh, it's attack two. It's okay. attack, attack two, range three. So four damage, yeah, he had three health. And then we'll attack this guy. So I draw two and take the worst one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Plus one and none. So plus cool. one. So none. The worst one. The worst one. Oh, yeah, you're attacking, right, right, right. Yeah. So no damage my, to him, but I gain an XP for whatever reason, I had it in my Thanks. head that you were attacking, or that he was attacking you. Uh, if I want to use my stamina potion, do I have to do it now? Uh, yeah, it's during your turn, so this is okay. a good time to do it. All right, there's Can no I use it to get back things that I played this turn? Yeah, I believe they're discarded. Okay. All right, so this elite guy He's is gonna rough up you. He's gonna fuck my oh, this cultist was there. So we're gonna do yeah, that. Yeah, be optimistic, Justin. He's just roughing you up. He's not like he's gonna. Fuck it's you only up. attack three. It's only attack three. Take yeah, that's guy. a pretty low attack. Start. It's attack six. <laughs> that's a <laughs> that's a lot higher. That hurts. Yeah, I'm gonna lose a card to negate that damage. That he then also becomes invisible. I don't have a ton of one still healing. Though. Just in general, by the way. I, I, have, I have like a handful yeah. of them, but... I, I'm quite good at picking myself back okay, together. That's good. Also, you know, I have nine health left. That's more than you have Yeah, it's more, than, it's more than either of us has. Yeah, but I've also not taken damage. Um, this guy is going to move here and attack Bryn. Because oh, Bryn's yeah. the closest with the lowest. You went too fast, you idiot. I did go too fast. Uh, he's going to deal two damage to you. That's fine. Yeah. Um, oh. I don't control that part. Oh, that's right, you know, I'm just not used to this. Yeah, that's my first time writing it, so it wasn't these, it wasn't, we didn't have our own little tracks. Don't, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't yeah. do that one. Uh, anymore. Travis, you're up. Okay, I got, um, a friend. Oh, nice. I've got a llama, he's gonna spit at you. Yeah. And then I have range to attack, and I'll eat the ice, I guess, for sure. plus one attack and experience. Nice. And, um, are these guys particularly close? Well, one of them's invisible, so we're not hitting him. Yeah, this is the only one. We'll get the take. dirt guy, though. So this would be a disadvantage anyway, so there's no negative about attacking in close combat with range. <laughs> because it sucks anyway. Minus two. So I get, like, so one. Like one damage. Yeah. Which will actually be two uh, yeah, damage because he's poisoned. Yeah, takes an extra point because he's poisoned. Sick. Ooh, maybe I'll just come in and kill that idiot. I can kill him. Oh, I should have played some cards, so... No, this was... That was... You got I already did that. Back. Yeah, you guys did just so slow. <laughs> yeah, we're not Sonic fast. <laughs> All right, well I'm gonna loot one because there's nothing better for me to do. So yeah, I said I didn't need money, but I'm. Um... Oh sure, that's worth two experience to me. Yeah. And partially why I play this card. Um, and then I'll do attack three, range three on this guy, so right. it'll be at a disadvantage. He'll take two damage, which will kill him. I will spend the green to gain one experience. Hmm. Just to reiterate, long rest means I move one of these cards to here, and then I get the rest of them back. Yes. So and if we kill this general. guy, scenario is over. Uh, no, we have to kill all monsters in the dungeon. In the dungeon, okay. Yeah, yeah he's just a little and that's, scary. That's why, that's why it was over. The other one was just, we had to kill all revealed. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you can clear this room and then do other things before we continue on. Yeah, like we could do a long rest. Yeah. But we need to open all the chests and collect the money before we kill everything. I would agree with this. I'll collect as much money as we can, leaving mm -hmm. like a few coins is enough. Yeah, like 10 gold is not a big deal. Yeah. All right, so this guy's invisible, so he will be... Oh, I did retaliate two against him because he did attack me, so I'm going to do that. We still can't target him. He's actually not here right now. 
Like what? What scary shadow first. demon? What are you talking about? Unless he goes first. Unless he goes first. So maybe going later is okay. Maybe we risk it for the biscuit. Maybe we just do a bunch of this. Maybe he goes Sonic fast again. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you do. Everyone good for initiative? Yep. Yeah, sure. I'm going to go with uh, 86. Nice. Yeah, I got 69. Cool. And this guy is 22. He's going pretty fast. So he's going to attack me. Take up that dark thing, you. Yep. Nothing so he's going to attack me for four. Eight, huh? Yeah, like my other option is for seven. I mean, I'm going to go to one. Oh, okay. Uh, he'll take two and die. Oh, that's neat. That is pretty neat. And I'll gain, I'll gain hmm. one experience. Oh well, man, I get to go next. Wow. Uh, I go next. I need one of those like, oh, yeah, tracker yeah, chits, Justin. What did you think? Oh, sure. Were they, are they, were they in the bag? Did yeah, they're in your like, little bag. Completely skim over that. There you go. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so I am going to start by healing myself for two. Uh, and then I'm going to do this healing rain. I'm going to target right here. So Travis and I each heal for two. But you're at full health. If Bryn was closer, I would have targeted him. I also targeted your llama just for reference. Okay. He's pretty happy about that, I guess. I'm like, he isn't that shit. So I have to end my movement on a coin to get it? Yes. Or play a loot. Okay. Like, do I have to end my turn there or my movement? Uh, Can I resolve turn. one? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, like, I'll move on to the one that's closer to the door, I guess. This one? Yeah, sure. All right, Bryn. Great. No, I'm going to do this and attack Travis. Nice. You can do that, right? No, you can't, unfortunately. Yeah, He's adjacent to one of my allies. Kill me. <laughs> I am your ally. Oh, I'm you're... Not just myself. Yeah, so how it works for your, your llama mm -hmm. is he's AI, so he can't do anything. Yeah, he just wants to there's no dudes. To do. Yeah. All right, I'm going to be doing a long rest this turn. Yeah, like me too. All right, I'm not going to. We're not throwing away the surviving. Like, we're going to use these two. So it doesn't matter what my initiative is because there's no opposition here, right? Correct. Cool. We're just going to move over here and use our thief snack to disarm an adjacent trap. Cool. And gain two XP. Now, like, we'll pick this one, I guess. Sure. How are we supposed to get into it? Like, are we supposed to split up? That's the thing. Like, I mean, realistically, I don't think we have enough cards between to do the whole to thing. Do, like all of us go into this room, then go across there again and do the other room. Well, if if Bryn goes before you and spawns a room, mm -hmm. I mean, I like, mean, like Lamo will go with someone. Yeah, like here's the. Th I think I should. I am probably the best one is going by myself. Oh, yeah. To a room. Um, it really is dependent on what room we go into because one of them just, they both seem kind of scary from looking at the map over okay. here. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff on this. Um, so I think we just got, yeah, but I think we have to split up. Okay. And Bryn needs someone with him to take advantage of his... Yeah, because all my abilities are like, hey, so you're adjacent to one of my friends, right? <laughs> and... My line, kind of a friend. It does. There you it's go. Uh, the other thing, though, is if, if he goes with you, you're not going to go adjacent to dudes. As much. Uh, right? Hopefully not. So, it might be better if we split up you with your llama, me and I mean, Brent. like, the llama will go where the llama goes. Yeah, but if, the thing is, if we open the door you're going in first, mm -hmm. he'll go towards that one. I mean, like, that's pretty fair. I can probably, like, kite some guys back. Yeah. Yeah, that's the yeah, If you come in and kind of open the door and just kind of, like... We could just sort of, like, hole up in the center room and try and follow them through the doorways. Yep. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Sure, let's go with that. We do have a, a between... I mean, like, I at the very least have a myriad of ranged attacks. Yeah. So. Cool, I'm doing my long rest, and I'm going to trash. Trash. Right, I'm deciding what to trash. It's not <laughs> providing me this one. Shut up, Brain. Uh, yeah, I'll, like, check out this door this turn, I guess. Sure, so I will heal. I'll heal up two and go to seven. It'll be, like... I'm going to take a long rest this time. Cool, so you go to... Eight is your health? Eight is my max, yeah. And then what are we going to get rid of? No, we like a carry eruption. It's a little worse, I think. 
So on my next four attacks, targeting enemies adjacent to none of their allies. It doesn't have to be a melee attack, eh? Yep. It just has to be an attack. Yeah. Okay. It would specify. All right, well, we're going to trash our special mixture because we're just not going to heal ourselves because we won't need it. For sure. Not a problem. Spirit. Not going to take damage. Or the Ozzy's guys going to be like, hit me when I come in the room. Um, I can't say. I don't know. Okay. Because I know what's in the rooms, but I don't, like, know them well enough, and I'm also, like, you know, not trying to study it. So if you don't go too far, probably unlikely. Like, I'm probably just going to poke my head in the door. If you poke your head in the door and then turn invisible, they won't get actions this turn. Yeah, but I want them to have actions. I want them to come to this room. Cool. Yeah, just uh, for the, just uh, the, once again, the invisibility can mm -hmm. block a doorway. Like that, I could also just use, does it only block doorways? Yeah. So if I'm here, they can walk through me. Uh, they could walk through the trap. Yeah, so, so I mean like I could follow them through the trap. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I think no, that's I need probably that more valuable. For than... experience. <laughs> I need to farm these traps. Yeah, fuck off, bro. I'm trying to win. <laughs> it's important, I promise. <laughs> you have 7 HP, though, so yeah, you're fine. Yeah, I'm fine. I was supposed to buy a healing potion, and I remember it now. Because mm -hmm. I don't have one. Like this one? Yeah. No, no, no. The one that actually heals 3 oh, health. Okay. Like actual healing My deck potion, is... not like... I don't have a lot of, like... Potion. Yeah, garbage mana po stamina potion, I guess. Yeah. Oh, I need new things. I think that qualifies like mana potion. <laughs> These guys are gone. Uh, I just started playing Skyrim, and I chose to play as an orc because I was like, "Oh, these people are cool and green." But it I turns out no one you. else thinks that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, everyone else is like, "Get out of here, orc!" Yeah, and get you're out like, of here, dumb green guy. <laughs> Wait, you guys were No, like I have a racist. thing that I was supposed to bring to you, and they're like, "Get out of here!" And it's like, "Well, how am I... you know what? It's mine now." Yeah. I'm just keeping it. Everyone good for initiative? Uh, no. I took You're a long weird. rest. You know, the orc thing is fun. Was... No, I'm still resting. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're going to do this room first, eh? Uh, that's what I was going to check out. Because, like, feel like we I, should, could, I could open this one, I think one we should too. open both doors. I think we should open both so that we can follow them into the main room. I think that's the best way to conserve okay. our cards. If you say so. I got 87. Um, I want to go last. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with, like, a 60 here. I got 20. Cool. That's good. Because I want Cause... this door set they can go. Oh, it doesn't matter because there's nobody. I mean, like, whatever. All right, so for my turn, I'm going to do some moving. Cool. Uh, well, can I open up the door and then, like, you can decide your... to move Yes, you more? can complete your movement after you open the door. Do I have to assign my movement value before I see what's in the room? No. Okay, so, like, I could use this boots of striding after? Yep. So we got ourselves some rubble. So rubble is not an obstacle. It is, um, no, so yes, I don't know what the word is. I'll look it up in the actual Is it like rules. difficult Garbage. terrain? Or? Yeah, it's difficult terrain. Okay. So basically it takes an extra moving yeah. point to go through it. Uh, we have one, two, three coins. We have oh, that's neat. a treasure chest. And we also got ourselves one regular skelly man. One elite skelly man. And three scary fire demons. So these are the fire demons you were complaining about before, yes. right? Yes. They all have three shields. Only two HP, so... All right. So they're not, like, yeah, super dangerous. Just no, and their actual there. attack value is usually not that high. Right. All right, Travis, you can finish your movement. The room has been spawned. No, oh, this is a comfortable place. Oh, one second. I just need to grab these guys' uh, initiative. So the Flame Demon is three. They're going to move four, yeah? And Living Bones is 81. So for difficult terrain, it's going to cost me two moves to go through here? These guys can fly, so they're just going to go right over it. Oh, okay. And their movement is four, so... Uh, we're going to finish moving by going back here. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we got this Frost Armor. Sick. Cool. Because I might be taking damage this turn. Yep. Or in the near future. So the demons move immediately because their initiative was lower than when they were revealed? Yes. 
So this guy's gonna go one, two, spots. three. And he's gonna go here, and then he's gonna throw, shoot a fireball at you. Oh yeah. For an attack of three, you'll take two damage. No. I'll gain experience instead. Yes. Oh, uh, we triggered ice as well. Thank you. Um, this guy is gonna go one, two. So one, three, two, three. He will make an attack against you at disadvantage because he can. So you'll take. Plus one, two, but you're going to cancel it. Yep. So then you'll take one more experience. Yes, please. Then this guy's going to go one, two, three, and he's going to attack you. Did you reach me? I don't know. Um, and he's going to deal you one damage. Okay, I'll actually take one damage then. Yeah, uh, pretty good considering. Now we go to yep. Brim. Okay, so maybe we want this trap gone then hey, instead of... You know, I'm not too sure what we want. I feel like opening that door could be good, could be bad. I, mean, I don't like, know. There's probably going to be guy there's guys on the other side of I it, can right? Confirm. We've got a whole pile of guys to deal with right now. Yeah. So, like, I could come over here and, de and like, defuse this. Sure. So then you can move and help Travis. Yeah. Or not. Yeah. As the case may be. I mean, also leaving it so the Skellymen walk over it, because I can throw some stones in there. Okay. What's my range? Three. One, two... I'll have to move here. Okay, I have a plan. Have okay, a plan. so I'm, I'm still on... Yeah, I mean, oh, I, oh, let's get Travis's out too. Travis, you okay with opening the door and just having a flood of monsters, or should we... Oh, fucking sign me up. Cool, he's signed up. <laughs> cool, we'll disarm this trap I came for here with you. Uh, so, that puts you to seven. And we'll move one, two. Cool. Creed. I've got three more. Three more movement? Yeah. Nice. Alright, so on this one, we got ourselves a bit more rubble. Oh, it's so many fire demons, we're just gonna get pecked to death. It's we gonna be sick. Treasure. We got ourselves three coins. We have two skelly men. One is elite and one is normal. And a frost demon? Yeah, and three frost demons. Does retaliate happen just whenever they're attacked at all? Uh, or is it like if you attack only, them Yeah, so uh, this guy is just regular retaliate. This one is retaliate two with range of two. Right, so, so if, you're, if you're within two range, he'll yes. retaliate. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, it's physical. If you also kill them, they do not retaliate. Right. Okay, these guys are... Hello. Hello. These guys do not fly, though. Oh, that's neat. And their initiative is, they're all the way down at the bottom, but that's fine, is 18. Ooh, they heal with ice. Well, we'll move one, two, three then. Nice. Take this. Yeah, I probably shouldn't hurt them this turn. I, I did that. Um. <laughs> all right, so then these guys, they don't move, um, but they will spend the ice to heal three. Okay. And that's their turn. Cool. We then go to, hey, move. We then go to me. I'm going to move two, one, two, and I'll do a range of three targeting this guy and an attack of three. Sweet. Um, I kind of want to do a bunch, so I'm going to do this to turn it into an attack of four, because I, I really want to kill some of these dudes. So I will deal one damage to this guy. That is number two. Um, but I will also do one damage to everyone he's adjacent to, so three and four will also take one damage. Seems all right. And then green goes up to full. And then the Skelemen go, what do they do? They just attack three in their spot and stay there. All right. All right. New initiatives, everybody. Top of the round, these go down. Okay, I have a plan. It's a bit crazy, though. Well, I guess I'll play my other cards. <laughs> uh, just, I'm thinking probably go invisible this turn, by the way. Sure, I'm thinking I'm going to jump into that room. Maybe I won't go invisible then. I'm planning on going pretty quick, because my plan kind of really needs to go as is. I'm also going very quick, but, like, I'm just doing damage. Sure. For the most part here so 
Everyone good to reveal initiative? Yeah. I got a 13. I got a 6. I got a 7. Man, you guys are fucking... Frost Demons, 58. <laughs> Living Bones, you guys me 12. Around, what you want. 30. Sick. Awesome. And these skeletons are still just hanging out in the corner. Alright, so I feel confident in this room of dealing with a lot of these problems. If you... The only one I can't deal with this turn is this guy. So... Well, I guess I'll shoot him then. Sure. Uh, so or I'm... even this guy. This guy's also fine because this will be at range. Mm -hmm. Will these guys block my line of sight? Mm, no. I don't think anything blocks line of sight. Except for walls. Okay. So uh, like if, also... I move, if I move here, I can like shoot to this guy, right? Yeah. Uh, but don't kill those guys. Because I'm going to be okay. just neutralizing them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, Lama's going to be taking a shot here. Yeah, so Bryn, you go uh, first. I think. Yeah, he was going to... Uh, no, Lama's not going to be able to take a shot if you can't get in range. Because you're in the way. Oh, yeah. yeah. Whatever. He got me my two experience. Yeah, what are the living bones doing? They're just gaining a shield <laughs> and healing themselves. Yeah, so once again, the, skele the skeletons aren't doing anything right now. No, they aren't. So I can... Oh, man, these guys just heal themselves, though. So, like, doing anything other than bursting them down seems like a waste of time. Uh, they don't have an ice thing, though. Or, yeah, that's true. Maybe we'll come in there and poke some of those Like, guys. as long as we don't take the ice thing up, and I have several cards that can let me use it, right? I've got this frost armor attack and this mana bolt. Oops, I bumped the camera. I'm sorry. It's okay. I've I'm also got my hand, like, way in the way of it. I'm gonna pull back I can, so I can, I can move with more. my other hand. That's a thing. We could take damage from one of these idiots, probably. Maybe three. That's a lot. Yeah. That's probably not going to be a huge issue. Yeah, we'll, just, we'll move there. And our other card is throwing knives. Nice. I want to give you your XP right now. So we'll uh, hit like this one, I guess. Cool. It'll take two damage. Two damage. And, um, like this guy, I guess? Sure. Cause yep. He's also within range and it doesn't really matter. Three. Two damage. Cool. Travis. Llama goes first, so he'll move closer. Yeah. This will probably be the closest he can get. Yeah, and sure. now it's your turn. I think Llama would move over here. Because it's, like, close to both the enemies in general. So uh, if you ever played with an AI summon, it's probably going to leave the yeah, dungeon. Yeah, both both are three spaces. So yeah, it's like also fine. close to those ones, right? Yeah. Uh, right, and then I do things. Oh, uh, we're gonna fire up this mana bolt first. Yeah, if you uh, if you can hit this guy, that guy also work as long as yeah, I have sure. two adjacent dudes. I'll shoot this guy. Sure. Um, with I'll consume the fire for plus one attack and experience. Nice. I got minus one, so two damage. So he'll take no damage. Sweet. Uh, we'll go. I have, I have another card, thank you. Oh, yeah, do your thing. It's just, just recover everything, right? Oh, no, you no, can't. No, we're going to move. I mean, like, I could recover. No, I can't. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to move, though. How many cards do you have in your hand, Travis? Zero. Short rest time. No, we're going to take a long rest. Uh, next turn, yeah. Yeah, because you want to make and sure. And I'm gonna like I'll have two cards. You have to left. make I can a, play the reviving ether and mm. another card. Yeah, you have to make sure this back. one. I mean, I, you can take a you can take a wound to discard a different one, right? Yeah, like I'd rather just take the long rest though and do something else plus the reviving ether. I'm gonna yeah, use... but the short the short rest doesn't count as an action, right? So then you get to play out next turn. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do this guy. All adjacent allies and enemies suffer one damage, so I'm gonna punch your llama for one damage. You fucking what? I know. Uh, and then I'm going to move forward to jump. One, two, three, four. Uh, and then I'll spend the screen to do all adjacent allies take two damage, so these guys will die. But I'll gain two experience. And, and enemies. That's yes. worth, worth noting. No, these guys, these guys were, were my friends. Just, Justin is not on their team. Um, and I'll gain two experience. And then I have this thing. What am I doing with that? This is over here. Target all adjacent enemies. You could at least kill the llama. Perfect. So I could get him back with the reviving ether. Sorry, I, I couldn't. 
<laughs> Can we move further? If you're so, if you're, if you're one I'm square away, I'm actually gonna swing away. this back. I'm gonna lose that one ex experience I just gained, and I'm gonna spend it over here instead. No, it's an attack three. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna do exactly as I did it. And Justin, if you were one square further away, would this demon come to attack my llama instead, since he shares my initiative and it's lower? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um. This goes over here. Okay, we're all done, right? So now we go to the living bones. They just gained a, they healed and gained a shield. The flame demons are going to move three. So he's going to move to me and attack me. So he's going to attack me for a zero. A disadvantage because it's uh, range. It's not a range attack. Oh, is yeah, he could. He could. He'll just attack me from where he is. Mm -hmm. so. He can throw fire. Uh, he's actually also going to hit your llama. So he's going to do Craig first. Craig will take negative one damage, but I will be wounded. Um, ouch. And then he's also going to target the llama, and the llama takes no damage. The llama. But he's wounded, so he's going to take one damage before he has an action. So I don't return. Yeah. Okay. So he will be in your lost pile by the time you... Perfect. Um, these guys... Frost demons. We're gonna move one. So we'll start with two. He's gonna go one, two because they'll go the shortest route and that won't be through there. Mm -hmm. This guy's gonna go here and attack you. Yep. So he's gonna attack you for three. That's six damage. Oh shit. Okay. Should we go for a second? Justin? Yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take a big turn. pile. That matters to you. Are you just doing the long rest? Yeah, just sure. long rest. Already. Things all in my card. Okay. Down to two, hey? Oh, you took the damage? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, so, what, what else can I do? We'll discard a card from your I hand. I could discard a card. Lose a card from your hand, rather. Yeah, but I want these cards. Uh, and then this six is going to go there because he doesn't have enough movement to go on the rubble. And then that's it. We go to top of the round. Hmm. Well, that's not how I planned on using this card. A short rest? No, I'm not. Uh, how much health does five have left? Five has four. Six has three. Okay, well we'll use this, I guess. Use this with that one. If I die, I keep all the things that I picked up, right? Yes, okay. and all experience you gain. We'll definitely do that one then. Cool. I got a 29. I've got a 4. I've got a I 99. Think it's very important that I move before these Skeletons guys. have 25. Oh man, they move so Excuse fast, me. man. Uh, Flame Demon has 30. Oh, that's good at least. <laughs> Frost Demon has 58. So, Brynn, you're first. This is a turn result, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 the 99. All right, so I've got this Trickster's Reprisal that I'll use to attack the demon next to me. Sure. Attack plus two. Attack two? Uh, it's attack four because he has no adjacent Sick. ally. Turn back on, please. Yep. So that's two experience from that. Um, yeah. We've got plus two, so we'll deal six and, like, horribly murder him. Nice. Good kill. Uh, and then we'll move five. Is this my demon going before you, Justin? No. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll just hang out like over here, I guess. That's cool. fine. We then go to the living Great. bones. Elite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I did my next turn actually a lot better. I didn't quite <laughs> die. He's gonna attack well, me there. for one. He's gonna um, attack me for right, nothing. This card is also gone. So he's gonna one, two, three, four, five. Darren, I'll one, give two, you a little something next turn. I guess because I don't have any other three, place. Four. He can attack me. No damage. It is now my turn. Hmm. 
Yes, I want the garbage. Thanks for. Uh, I was I wasn't sure. I'm gonna do this in these three spaces. So I'm gonna heal two after I take my one from my wound. So I'll go to eight in the end of it. I'll attack both these skeletons. I'll start with the elite guy for an attack of two. That'll be nothing. I'll attack the nine. Uh, and that'll be two damage on that guy. Then we're going to do this move two. I'm going to move here. And I'll deal one damage to every adjacent enemy. You don't want to like and ally. gain the money. I guess oh, those, guys, those guys might not move. Yeah, good point. Mm -hmm. I don't so, give up. They're, they're weak. They're just little dumb skeletons. Okay. Yeah, I ran away from skeletons. Yeah. So. <laughs> you have two health left, though, so... Uh, Travis, you heal two for dice. your long rest, and the llama bleeds out. He's gone. He's, all he did was he was like, Bleh, and then someone threw a fireball at him, and he's just... Bleh, bleh. <laughs> that sounds like llama things. I think he burned out, because he's made of, like, fur. Um, Sick. These guys move? Yeah, these are idiots. They should probably just be like on the rubble piles, right? Like uh, that's the closest. No, nah, he goes one and then there. Can they not? No, they only have movement of one. Oh, wow. Okay, they're dirt. Yeah. All right. They're cold. It's frosty. Cold dirt. Mm -hmm. um, I did make green. Green goes down. Okay. I got 35 for my initiative. Seven. Hmm. I'm going to take a long rest. Sure. Yeah. Sure. So it's going to be an issue. Uh, flame demons are done. Frost demon has 78. Skeletons have 45. Okay. Uh, Burn, you get a heal for three. Nice. Nice, because I threw away my card that lets me heal myself. And I'm going to take up dark. Also, we're not dealing with this trap now. I don't for think. Because we've three. seen the entirety of the dungeon now, right? Now. Yeah. <laughs> so, no experience? No. Okay, cool. Uh, I'll take one damage from this wound. Turn. Oh no, my wound is healed because I healed myself last turn. Let's give a trade this turn for great potential experience in the future. Um, I'm going to move here for the free action on this, and then I'm going to do an attack five against these two skeletons and gain two experience. Doing things, friend. Well, yeah, like I, cowering from these other skeletons. I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. That sounds um, like a mistake. That's the one we'll lose. Um, let's do the elite one first, I suppose. Oh, he's going to shuffle back in because I drew my evil one. I didn't want to, but it made me do it. I'd love to shuffle this one back in. Yeah, it's a nice yeah. one, isn't it? Now, the real power from leveling up is I think, like, the cards are nice, but the cards are quite balanced throughout the whole thing. They're just basically archetypes for your character. Yep. But upgrading this deck is where you really feel the power start coming. All right, attack number two. He'll take five damage. He'll only take, actually, four damage because he has a dumb shield because he's a fucking idiot. Because he's a skelly man. Yeah. I mean, like, he brought shit. I just that. And then I will kill this idiot. Blech. Oh. Oh, 20 gold. Oh, the treasures of the world. Um, this is destroyed. And that's me. Oh, fuck. These guys attacked me. This guy's also dead. Oh no. Uh, I get to heal too for this long rest when we get there. Yeah. I guess. It's something I guess I have to tell you and not just like fiddle a dial over here anymore. Yeah. Seven. Travis, you went, right? Yeah, I went first. So now it's the skeleton's turn. So this guy's going to go. Right, I only so have I'm one card in my hand right here. Like. Three, and he's going to attack you, Travis. These guys so fast. Attack. They spend a lot of time charging up their laser. So you're going to take two damage on that attack? Yeah, I can interact. Good. Cool. This guy's going to go one, two, three. These guys are going to do move one and one. Great. They do produce ice, though. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> uh, Travis, can you push either of these guys? I'm not allowed to interact with that. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, I'm doing a short rest. Uh, I can probably take her hits this turn, though. By probably, I mean, like, almost certainly. So my votes, we leave an ice element alive because they're slow as hell. 
I mean, I'm running to grab that treasure chest this turn. Yeah, yeah, but we like we got. Then I'm running out, out and I'll come help. So. Like, I, I think we should leave Nice Elmer alive, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That seems like the one to kill last. Mm -hmm. I'm on full defense this turn, Brynn. Oh, cool. Uh, how much health does this guy have? Uh, oh, six. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Huh? yeah, six and Six, five. and I have to deal more. Just as retaliate. Happen if I don't take damage. Is retaliate an attack trigger or a damage trigger? Let's find out. Each attack made. Attacks, good. All right, so I want you to move first, so then he'll hit you. Yeah. Oh, what okay. am I doing? I'm going, like, pretty fast. Not as fast All as right. most of your cards, I mean, but, I'm, like... I can also move very slow. Like, my, like I have no edge. middle ground cards, really. Okay. I noticed that, too. Just, I like, high like, 60s and, like, single digits. For the most part, I have, like, kind of fast, like, 20s. And then I've got, like, you know, 70 and 80. <laughs> right. We've got 7 here and 80, so... Uh, this turn, though, I got 20. I got an 87. <laughs> nice I'm, and like, slow. When I say really slow, like, clearly I did not anticipate <laughs> this being a possibility, but I've got a 64. Okay. Uh, they got new cards. They got... I don't even think I can move slower than that. And a 20. So I get to go first. Yes, you go before them. Oh, thank God. Okay, so I got this frost armor. Yep. Uh, it takes up ice. And some hardened spikes. For retaliate too. Cool. And to experience, please. Uh, it's my turn. Man, I've got retaliate too. Mm. Yeah, you do too. Oh, oh that's, that's sick. Uh, I'm not going to get attacked. So, but this guy, so this guy actually goes first. So he's going to attack you, Travis, for two. Yeah. But you take no damage from I'll your ice. Two, or one experience. One experience. And you deal two damage back to him. Yep. He then heals it. Good. They saw your trick coming. Apparently. And then this guy's gonna come here and attack you. Once again, cancel the damage, you gain one experience. And retaliate, but then he heals it. Yep. Then we go to Bryn with 64. <laughs> Not the slow frost demons. <laughs> I've got a flanking strike to hit this guy with. He's adjacent sure. to one of my allies, so it'll be attack five. Nice. You're welcome. That was me. Uh, and I guess we'll like add poison to the attack. Cool. So when we open these chests, Justin, whoever pay, whoever opens it gets the loot? Plus zero. Or, so he'll take four damage and poison. So he'll take I gain, four damage. Uh, I gain one experience. So you're telling me if I ever want loot, I need to be able to, like, move. And I'll, yeah. like, loot one, I guess. I feel like that's the... You, yeah, that's the, that's the benefit of you. You're much better getting experience, but worse at picking up the loot. It's pretty fair. Well, Brynn um, is... His I deck that one, actually will we'll, move, like, seven and jump or whatever. We'll, yeah. use, uh, we'll use, like, the generic move on this instead of looting, because that does nothing to move over here. I think that's better. Cool. These guys are like, we're coming for you. I'll get you. Holy crap. Um, Do you have real notifications, Brynn? Yeah. Wow. I yeah. am going to I'm heal going so four year. on myself. And move four, but I'll do a move six. It wasn't real. One, two, it was just three, a message four, five. Work. It doesn't matter. And grab this treasure chest, which is empty on this side because I'm an idiot. But then I go to 28. Let's see what 28 is. 28 is 15 gold. I don't need gold, game. How do AOE effects work with doorways? You want to show me the card because then I'll understand a bit more. Uh, so I got that like hexy one. Yeah. If I plant out the center one, like, on the door, yep. just to get, it gets all of them, yep. except for the ones that are in the wall, obviously. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And I can say this, like, bottom corner one is, like, this one. Yep. Okay. Uh, Bryn, do you mind handing me just that Sharpie over there? I gotta cross out the item I just got. So a lot of these treasure chests are just gold. That's okay, just gold is, like... No, just gold is good, here. but... If we ever at the point where we have to choose between the chest and killing a frost elemental, Justin says, of course, after getting a chest, but if I could give you my gold, I would. Um, top of the round. Doing things. How fast do you think you can move this turn, Travis? 
Oh fuck! Like so, like Justin Slow Man. Really? Yeah. Well, that's not good. Cause I'd really love for this guy to be dead before I have to. Tough go. shit. <laughs> We're going so slow, like for the rest of the game. All right, cool. I think I'm taking a long rest, so I can refresh my boots and get back in there to fight around with you guys. Uh, if I make a ranged attack and the guy I'm attacking isn't in melee with me, is it still disadvantaged because I'm in melee with someone else? No. No? No. Okay. It's just your target. Neat. I don't have a target level. It's AoE. Then that doesn't matter. Okay. No. So I can't be ranged disadvantaged for AoE attacks. From what I've gathered, I could be wrong. And YouTube, please let me know if I am wrong. You don't I mean, tell I them they will. Yeah. Because I feel like your target, like... It, it's you're targeting one square. Mm -hmm. If you target a square who's next to you, I feel like that person will be if there's a guy there, yeah. But if you're not targeting that square, it targets everything in there, okay. right? Yeah, so the only difference with this is you you do have a line of sight, but if this if you did that target and you mm -hmm. tried to fight this attack this guy, oh, yeah, I wouldn't be able to see that one. Yeah, so it's just line of sight. But I can hit the other guy behind the door. Yeah, because you, you have, you have to corner casting to corner. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but even if you like put it here and say this was a spot, but mm -hmm. there was a wall here, you can only hit enemies that you can actually see in an area to attack. That's kind of dumb. It is kind of dumb, but yeah. But no, like, so I can put my attack here, it'll affect these, and it'll get this guy, right? Yes, because you can see him. Oh, I can see his corner, like the corner of this can see yeah. his corner. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, I get it, I get it. Yeah. It's an interesting targeting restriction, but mm -hmm. as long as I understand it. Man, look at Justin with his big pile of cards still. Yeah, I do have quite a bit. Yeah, are we ready to flip our next cards? Or yeah, I'm, I'm on resting. Oh, okay. That was 66. <laughs> Justin Slow. Yeah, Justin Slow. 10. Yeah, Unfortunately, that's also the fastest I can go. For 58 a while. and 12. What so, do you have, Justin? 99. So, Brent, you're right. first. Okay. These skeletons are going sh to heal this turn. And then these frostmen are going to fuck me up. Great. Fuck Brent up. He's closer. Uh, neither of them are going to get to you. The frost demons? Yeah, they're only moving two. Yeah, but they have an attack of three. Yeah, but they have no range. Do they not? No. No. Oh, okay. Sweet. They're just slow, big pieces of ice. Can you scroll down a second with the rest of their cards? Oh, of course. Okay, they just have retaliate. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. Retaliate's only melee. Yes, unless it says, for example, this guy, retaliate range of two. Uh, yeah, well, okay. I guess, like, we'll... Sounds what? good. We'll venom shiv this guy. Sure. So this is this is the non-elite one. Yeah, you. The elite one has undead. four damage on him, and he only has two health remaining. Yeah, but he's also not going to heal this turn because he's poisoned. He's going to remove the poison counter instead. Excellent, fucking Bryn. He's three steps ahead of me in the rules. I mean, like he knows the mechanics. I know the mechanics cards. for my guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. the ones I'm allowed to use. Yeah, go for it. Attack. What's so like, we'll poison. We'll try and attack this guy and poison him because it, it doesn't matter which attack I use. They're both worth an experience. Sure. Uh, yeah, so we're on attack of three. Ooh, plus one, we'll deal two damage, so three damage three to damage him. Three damage to him. That guy's number six. I uh, gain an XP. Yep, got gotcha. Twelve, and then uh, I can move. Uh, I could move two with my throwing knives. How far are these guys moving this turn? They're moving two. two. That's the farthest they can go. All right. Well, that's convenient. Yeah, I'm going to get some new skeleton items with my thing. Uh, yeah. I'll, stay, I'll stay where I am then. Yeah. Cool. Uh, the skeletons um, are not attacking. They're just going to each get a shield and heal two. This guy's poison goes away. This guy just heals He's two. also poisoned from the venom shift. Oh, this guy is? Yeah. Okay, cool. So he won't neither he, of them heal. Yeah, neither of them will heal. Sick. Sick. But they now have two shields this turn. We then go to Frost Demons. One, two, one, two. Man, they just want you to put the spell right there. I'm, I'm gonna. <laughs> Travis, you're up. Yeah, we'll, uh, I mean, like, we'll fire up this llama first. Sick. And adjacent space, you can put him here, here, or there. Uh, or behind me, please, somewhere, I guess. Two experience. That's the important part. And then the icy blast is gonna be like. 
Cool. So, uh, special skelly man first. Sick. And you're gonna model them all? Yeah, I also get two experience. Yep. Special skelly man takes one. So he's gonna take zero damage. Kay. Regular skelly man takes two. He's, he's gonna, gonna take, take zero, zero damage. damage. Okay, good. I saw mental number two. Yeah. He's gonna take three damage. So. And number six. Two is gonna take three. Six takes two. I'll complete my long rest. And then we'll heal two. And I need to give you that remaining two for that attack, or just one two? It was four total, four yeah. experience total. I did not get that to you yet. I'm gonna take a short rest. Cool. Goodbye, this one. Yep, that's fine. Okay. These are my other cards. Okay. Excuse me. Hmm. All right. It's time for Craig to do what Craig do. Yeah, if you could come here and take damage, that'd be pretty good. <laughs> I don't it's, think it's not an issue for you, right? I look right now. Up. Okay, can can you kill any of these guys? Maybe I'm so slow. Yeah, I, I won't be able to come and attack this turn, mm -hmm. but next turn I'm here to help. Like, realistically, yeah, I can probably kill one or two of the guys, but, like, I'm so slow. <laughs> Once again, we're just, like, last turn was the fastest I could go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We'll do that then. I'm sick. I got 69. <laughs> I got 38. I've got a... S sorry, not a oh. 6. I have a 4. Uh, we have an 18. <laughs> it's better. And... Oh, these fucking idiots. They're so fast. They're so fast, and they're all healing. Okay, that's fine, then. Like, as long as... There's no works. attacking. Oh, they're gonna all... They're gonna mobilize you, so there's gonna be no movement for you. Yeah, whatever, I guess. Yeah. So we start with Bren. And I have to use a top and a bottom half card, right? Yeah, I'm going to yeah. use uh, Flanking Strike on this guy. He's adjacent to one of my enemies, so I'll attack for five. Sure. Or one of my allies. Yeah. Travis could be an enemy, though. We're not sure. We're all the same. Enemies, allies, friends. Plus zero, so it's five damage. He's dead. Fuck you, Chris. I gain an experience. Nice. What? I okay. asked if you could do anything, and you're all like, no. Yeah, well, I mean, like, you, it doesn't really matter. I'm um, just going to get, like, one experience. I'll move six. All right. Can we get that treasure chest? <laughs> Probably. I would really like to finish this, actually, maybe before we get that treasure chest. I get, like, one more turn. How much health do I have? These guys aren't attacking. They're just going to... Yeah, no one's attacking me. this turn. So, like, one, two, three, four... We'll go you want to go one more if you're mm. going for that treasure chest because they're going to immobilize you then you won't be able to move next turn just yeah that's it. okay okay i'll be able to move i think i can move a whole lot when i'm moving sure and also this way i can still attack these guys with my ranged attack that i Sick. still have so they get their turns so this guy heals two <clears throat> mm, when does muddle go away we're moving into the next turn so these guys are all going to lose their muddles this guy is going to heal three, but this guy will not, which is good. And then they immobilize you and Bryn. Yeah, sweet. So here's, you got shot in the foot. So that's great. Thanks. Foot shot. Then we go to me. I'm going to do this move six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I have a range of five. One, two, three, four, five. I'll throw a big old spear at that skeleton. It's gonna shatter and blow Travis up. He's mm. gonna be like, no, why? So he'll take one damage. He'll take zero damage because he has an extra shield. My jerk. But he will be immobilized so he won't move next turn. Yeah, that's great. And I'll get one experience. Travis, you're up. Llama's gonna spit at the elite skelly man, I Go guess. Go for it, make your attack, Mr. Llama. Two. Uh, no damage. Sweet. Um, let me try and move, but I can't. 
We're also going to throw out some fireballs, I guess. Heck yeah. That's cool. Three targets, range three. Uh, you can hit all of them. I mean, I can get them all with this one, too. Then, you know, we're going to do Impaling Eruption this turn. Because I'm more confident to be able to so do the fireballs next turn. It's an attack three, range four, and I target all enemies on the path to primary target. So, like, I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I'll gain uh, three experience for that, I guess. And then we'll do Elite Skelly Man first. He takes two, so none. Uh, number two takes four. He takes four. And number six is negative one. So he takes two? Yeah. He's dead. And that makes green? Uh, yes. Sick. So next turn... I burn one of these, and then I'm done because I don't have enough cards to put down, right? Yeah, you need to have at least two to put down. Yeah, okay, sweet. So that it for you? I mean, like, I get one more turn. Okay. Because I get to do a long rest, right? And you I still have to get rid of a card in the long rest. Yeah, but I don't have to put cards down yet. Oh, that's right. So, yeah, you can do a long rest. Yeah, like, I get then... next turn, and then the turn after I'm done. So you can be there as a target. Yeah, I can soak some damage. And the whatever. lava will get an attack. Yeah. Yeah. That's some. Cool. How much? This guy has a lot of health left, right? He has five health left. Cool. I should use this power potion, my power potion, at like any point in that turn. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, here's some damage, but actually, I'm just gonna turn invisible. Oh fuck! Gotta kill this guy. I'm gonna kill the frost demon on my turn. Okay. Because I can't move. Okay. Then I am going to... I'm doing a short rest because i got to get in there and start fighting. And what do I do with this turn? Can I do anything No, you should this? try and kill the thing before the turn ends. So I don't get exhausted or whatever. I can only move here. That'll work. That'll work. Got it. Thank you for that green leaf. I made it so I can attack. I chose correctly. I got a 13. You got um, a 99? Yeah, 99. Living Bones got a 20? I got so a fast. They're fucking healing again, these assholes. Frosty has got a 78. So you're up first, Bryn. All right, I'm going to use the throwing knives and gain an XP, and this is the only guy I can attack, so we'll just attack just him. Just him? We got minus one, so we're on three damage then, because he has no adjacent allies. He will die. Uh, I gain an extra XP for that. Cool. And then uh, move, camp. Kind of lame, isn't it? The whole mm -hmm. Yeah, thing. but this is done now. Yeah. yeah. And right. I guess I gotta decide whether that treasure chest is more valuable than other things I could be doing. I'm going to move to one, two. Oh no. Do I do this first? Do I count this one on? Yeah, it's just life. I gotta do it next turn. That's fine. Oh, uh, your boots. My boots I already used last turn okay. to get there. Llama gets to attack, Mr. Skeleton. Don't you get to untap him? No, only when I do the long rest. Oh. Yeah. Uh, skele uh, Llama attacks the skeleton. He's going to spit on him. Uh, the skeleton heals one. For four damage. Nice, so he takes three. And the skeleton also attacked you, I just missed that. Oh yeah, whatever. So he'll take one damage. Great. It doesn't matter. Doing a short rest. Um... Okay, do we want to try and end this this turn, or do we want to go for this I chest? think, well, I don't, I'm running out of resources. You might as well go for the chest, like, I'm done this turn. I mean, we could kill it this turn, probably. We should kill it last turn, but... I think we gotta kill him, otherwise... Alright, yeah. I'll take a short rest, then, at the end of the round. I'm going to take one damage so I can draw an additional... This one. Um, I can take a damage to take a different one, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. This one. That's fine. That one is unnecessary to this part of the plan. All right, this is what we're doing. You're exhausted? Yeah. Well, Travis, you get the special oh. knocked unconscious filter. Wow. So cool. I don't imagine you can move that fast, hey? I mean, I can get to move... Oh, this turn I'm moving as the speediest that this little stone boy can ever run. 
Okay. Well, uh, we'll see if it's fast enough. Fast enough. There's only one that I know that he's faster. He has a 12, which will really fuck things up. I got a 13. I got a 6. Cool. And he's got yeah. a 45. Okay, he's not healing, so that's good. That is good. I'll move 5. Yeah. Pick this up, because that's just efficiency. Uh, and then we'll backstab this guy. Nice. So he is adjacent to none of his allies. Yeah. So I'm on attack plus four. Cool. Plus zero, so I'm on seven damage. So he's dead. And I gain one XP. Mm. He is dead. So now I gotta go. Uh, do we not just end because all the monsters... We go to the end of the round. The round? Okay. Yeah. So is there anything? Just gonna get like a money or whatever. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna go one. Two, I can't even grab that money. I can go one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna deal two damage to all enemies two hexes away for okay. two experience. I know that sounded scary when I first came in, being like, I'm gonna deal two damage and just boom. But we have successfully completed the mission. Let me read the conclusion. It doesn't quite kill me, so I guess that's okay. Um. With the cultists and their minions dead, it seems the Dark Rift is now dormant. It is no less disconcerting, however. You toss a rock at it, and the rock disappears into nothingness. You must admit that you wonder whether you could enter the rift yourself, and whether you could survive the trip to wherever that rock ended up. Open up scenario 10, called the Plane of Elemental Power. We should go there. Uh, alternatively, finding some way to close the rift is probably the most prudent decision. There is an Aether Enta Enchanter in Gloomhaven, who may know more about this interplanar stuff. She's been known to ask for impossible favors before she helps anyone, though. We've unlocked two new scenarios as well. Frozen, like Frozen Hollow and Forgotten Crypt. So those are scenarios we've unlocked. Uh, no rewards for doing this one. Like, no additional rewards, yeah. yeah. At least sounds like dirt. We should just run him first and do the elemental plane. I mean, we could. Let me just see if we're actually able to. Yeah, we could do that one. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> a lot of fire demons in that one. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, difficulty level was normal. So that means each of the gold tokens we picked up is worth two gold. So that's me up to 111 gold. Um, we get six additional XP listed to what we have. So, Travis, you get 27. Mm -hmm. I already did the 21, so... Cool. So then you get six more. Bryn, you get 22. All right. And I get apparently 129. That's not right. 18. I'm going to build a level up next time. Yeah, probably. I'm at 74 of 95. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's the same thing with Eric's character. He's really good at leveling up, but loot... He's not able to get the things. Yeah. Right. Not that there was anything to get here, but... Yeah. All right, because we're never redoing this campaign, I want to see what was in that treasure chest. Because, you know... We didn't resolve our battle things. No, we'll do that as well. I'm just seeing right now before we... Because I have a question about one. <laughs> uh, we got ourselves... Number four was 15 gold. Okay, it's dirt. That wasn't an item. Uh, yeah, that's so all reveal our battle goals. Gain 13 or more experience points during the scenario. Nice, you did it. <laughs> what you had, Justin? I had have three or more cards in your hand and discard at the end. So I had two. Okay. Three or less cards, sorry. So mine says, allow none of your character allies become exhausted during the scenario. So neither of you guys were exhausted, right? Yeah. So that means I get it. So the only thing I'm looking... Is it character allies? Character allies. Yeah, so your summon ally does not count. Yeah, so you no, do I was get just it. wondering if like it counted if I got exhausted. No, nah, man, you're the one who Anything. is here to sacrifice yourself so we don't get hurt. Okay. Yeah, so I got three of these full. That means I get a perk. an additional check mark up at the top. A perk. Yep. Okay. I also have some stuff written down here. I have 518. I'm not sure what that, that is. Means. Oh, that was the number of the objective card. Okay, yes. and what are these two ticks here for? Um, that was something that I do not know, but I marked it on Sweet your... It might, have been, it might have been you keeping track for the first scenario of mm -hmm. not killing more than three dudes. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, Bryn, you level up. So, okay, so this, if we want to do the Plane of Elemental Power, this scenario is linked to it, which means we can go there without doing another road encounter, or we can go back to Gloomhaven, look at the map, and see where we want to go when we put the new fancy stickers on. 
Um, I think it's most up to Brent if he wants to level up. I don't right? care. Huh? I don't care about leveling up. That's dirt. Sure. Okay, let's. Uh, do I get to do this part right away, or do I? Have you to do get to do two parts right away. I think actually, let me find out about that. I get to do two right away. Yeah, because you got one for leveling up. Oh, and okay. then one for getting three check marks. Oh, amazing. I could so let me just ignore all negative effects in this scenario. Or add a bunch of Pierce cards. How to many cards deck. do you have that trigger on using Leaf? Mm, a good chunk. A lot? Yeah. Okay. Instead of doing this one, then maybe. Um, so, Bryn, you only get your second one if you level up. Oh, okay. Yeah. So here, let me also, I'm going to bring up the big map. Which is somewhere in the, one of those boxes over there, if you want to bring okay. the map over. Because let's look at the map and just see all these new stickers and see what looks the most fun. Could you take out my card, or like my Vince cards, I guess? The I'll binder is right over here. No, like, I mean, for the... Uh, oh, I've the got mine over here. Yeah, of course. I'm just going to also type I need the redraw leaf and redraw win cards. Cool. What the fuck you, Ryan? Oh, thank you. You're welcome. There you go. Ooh, I like these. They're colorful. So you know when you draw them. Yeah. I'm doing this for you, Justin, because you're part of the team. My team. At this point, I switched to the, uh, my Clooney the Scourge character. That's what I named my Mind Thief because I summon armies of rats. Okay, that's so, kind of cool. You know, Red Wolf. Scenario. That's the one with the animals being knights and shit, right? Yes. Those are pretty good books. So for these, when they take something up, do I get to um, flip them and then can I spend them for my attack? No, you can. When you make them, you can never use them on the turn that you get them. So we got ten. We got fourteen. Let's look for fourteen. Found it. And we also got 19. Is that 19? Mm -hmm. It is. Man, you fucked this sticker up. So yeah, man. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, we could we could just continue to the plane of elemental power, which is it like a recommend level thing from? No, everything just scales to your party level. Okay. Which we are now, you're level two, two, three, so we have a total level of seven, an average party level of two point, five, two point, like, two point, like three. three. Or so then divide that in half like that. is one point one five, which means we're now scenario difficulty level two as opposed to one, which means I get more experience and more gold. This is your fault. This is your fault. I mean, it's my fault. Level the last time. <laughs> I blame you. I blame you. So yeah, we could go to. So we do the the elemental plane. Yeah, which is... We could go do the things for the lady who's picky or whatever. Yeah. We can also... There's the other crypt that we can explore if we want. The one that's scary. So yeah, basically there's 10, the 14, and 19. Let me just make sure there's no other additional things we need. What does the lady want us to do? Uh, go to the frozen hollow and kill all enemies there. Mm -hmm. And there's also... What does this symbol mean? So that is a flip symbol, which means when you draw it, you automatically draw another one until you don't draw a flip symbol. Right, yeah, okay. you do it and you draw another one. That's like what my, my elemental ones are. We cannot do this one. This one we cannot do. Ooh, this, wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute. No, it doesn't. I just want to find the one that unlocks the ability to enhance cards, because I have 111 gold I'm just sitting on doing nothing <laughs> with. Um, there's the Decaying Crypt. There's So then there's also the main storyline, which... No. Okay. Just side, side quests just, only. Yeah. So then in terms of side quests only, there is 10, 14, and 6. You show up to the final boss and, like... He's all the way around, supposed to be. It's like in Skyrim when you go fight all the way or whatever, and you've been screwing off with side quests all game, and you show up and you're like, how the game doesn't scale you appropriately to me having like fully enchanted Daedric armor and weapons. I'll do the choice to you guys, because I 
I've, I've played with so many groups that I'm not too picky. I, I wouldn't mind just diving into the elemental plan, but I also would be open to helping the lady and see what she has to offer. I guess there's the question of do we want to fight fire or ice? Because those are the two themes of where we go next. Do not. Care. If we do ice, we can do a city encounter, which are generally beneficial and give us money and stuff. Because then we just have to go back to the city. Yeah, sure, we'll do that then. Cool. Ice it is. Ice it is. So we're going back to Gloomhaven. So, Bryn, you can level up. Which means you get an additional check mark that you can use. And we have a new city event. No, I don't want this. You decide to unwind the sleeping lion. I want these. <laughs> Uh, you decide to unwind the sleeping lion, but just as you're starting to relax, a bear of a man crashes into your table, scattering your drinks across the floor. Yes. Towering over him is a massive Inox. What did you say about my horns? The Inox shouts. The man stands up and brushes shards of glass from his tunic. I said this side of them makes me want to vomit. Oh, he's racist. I get it. The Inox roars and charges headlong into the man, crashing through more tables in the process. He At really this, doubled down on that. the entire tavern erupts into violence. <laughs> After all, when a man is deep into his drink, the last thing you want to do is knock that drink over. Option A, join the fray. These insults will not go unanswered. Or option B, do your best to stop the fighting. This is a respectable establishment. That's bullshit. We should be a black guy. For I think we should also. Horns. I am a, I am a uh, Savas. And I find racism deplorable. I'm down for a good tavern, bro. Thoughts, Brent? Right. Cool. <laughs> Nothing like, holy shit. Nothing like busting some drunken, what's your XP? 74. Damn. Nothing like busting some drunken skulls to lift one's spirits. It turns out to be a great way to unwind. Unfortunately, the proprietor of the sleeping lion doesn't exactly see it that way. And he sullenly asks for compensation for the damage you caused. So we have, we each gain 10 experience. Holy shit. So I level up. Damn. Good job, Craig. And then we either all need to lose five gold or we all lo we lose one reputation for our party. I'll lose five gold. I don't care. Yeah, I'm definitely more. losing sure. gold. I'm past carrying both gold. I can't collect it anyway. I'm just here for the experience. And not the experience of going with your friends, the experience of gaining experience to level up. Yeah, gain yeah. bear cards, for sure. So we're going to do some more stuff, and then we'll be back with another scenario. We're doing the scenario 14, the Frozen Hollow. Oh, those are cool. Yeah, you should use those. It just adds them to my It deck. adds two of them yeah, for one yeah. checkmark? Yeah. That seems good. 